In this session, we are simply going to answer this question. A ball rolls off the edge of a table, which is one meter above the floor, with a horizontal velocity of one meter per second. Find the time taken to hit the floor and the velocity with which it hits the floor. Let's summarize this using a diagram. So we have a ball. It rolls off the edge of a table. This is our table right there. Okay. This is our table. A ball rolls off the edge of a table, which is one meter above the floor. So this table is one meter above the floor, right like that. So which is one meter above the horizontal floor, or one meter above the floor, which is horizontal. The velocity, with a velocity of one meter per second. So this ball is going to roll off the table. It's rolling off with a horizontal velocity of, you know, one meter per second. So find the time taken to hit the floor. So when it comes, it comes and hits this floor right there. So what's the time taken to hit the floor? So from that information, we already, we only know that by the time it comes here and it hits the floor, by the time it hits the floor, it has been displaced in the X direction by one meter in the negative direction remember this is the point of projection so meaning that this is our zero ground our zero level so by the time it is here it has been displaced by you know the the displacement in the in the y direction is negative one so since that's the information we have and they want us to find the time and in the formula for displacement there is that value of t we can go ahead and find. So using displacement in the y direction is going to be equal to ut minus a half gt squared. This minus is coming from the fact that the gravity is negative, yeah? That's why this turns to negative. So the, this is negative one, the horizontal, the vertical displacement, that is displacement in the y direction is negative one is going to be equal to u. Now, um, this is in the x direction they say the ball rolls off the edge of a table which is one meter above the floor with a horizontal velocity if it is a horizontal velocity it means there is no component of this u in the vertical direction so meaning that there is zero the component of velocity in the y direction is zero so this whole time is going to die so it's going to become zero minus a half times gravity which is 9.81 multiply that by t squared times t squared and uh, yeah they want us to find the time taken to hit the floor and so that's how we're going to find that value of t so this is negative one is going to give us negative 9.81 divide that by 2 multiply that by t squared when we make t the subject of the formula here of course, this is going to become this and that will cancel to multiply two on both sides. You remain with two over 9.81. Find this is squared, yeah? Square root on both sides. So when we square root this on both sides, we end up with our value of t as 0.4515 seconds. So that's the answer. So that's the time it takes for this ball to roll to come and hit the ground. So Roman 2, they're telling us to find the velocity with which it hits the floor. The velocity with which it hits the floor. Now the way we find that is maybe just to illustrate something here. When we are having motion in a projectile, and the motion moves like that, right? Okay, so as it's moving like that, it starts from here with an initial velocity. Let's call that initial velocity u. So as it keeps moving, that velocity changes to v right there this is a velocity v up to there it changes direction that is velocity v like that until it reaches at maybe at the, the, the same ground which is still velocity v that is initial velocity u then the initial velocity final velocity v final velocity v depending on the point where you are but just one thing that you need to know that whenever it is as it's changing direction when this final velocity v has at this point 
it has um you know a component in the y direction and the component in the x direction at this point this velocity has a component in the y and a component in the x at this point this velocity has a component in the x and down here a component in the y same with this by the time it reaches here it has a component in the x and a component in the y that is how it is and so in order for us to find these values of v the final velocities we simply have to resolve the x and y components like we are going to see right there so if they say that find the velocity with which it hits the flow we are looking at this here that at this point by the time it comes here and it hits the flow its velocity is probably in that direction right there right the final velocity so while it is there it is having a component both in the x and in the y let me try and redraw this the ball rolled off from a table just redrawing it from a table and it hits this is the flow so the ball comes and it hits right there so while it came it started with initial velocity then we have another velocity there final velocity then here maybe it came like that that's a v at the, or the, by the time it reached it hit here it hit the ground with a certain velocity v but this velocity v with which it hit the ground has components in the x so there are components of that velocity in the x direction and it, there is a component of that same velocity in the y direction how do we find these components of the x and the y direction we, are, we use the first equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t so we're going to find the component of the x of this velocity in the x direction then we're going to find the component of that velocity in the y direction then from there we shall go ahead and find the velocity with which it hits the ground which so happens to be v so let's get started let's find the component of the velocity in the x direction so we shall do this by saying that the component of that velocity in the x direction is given by u plus acceleration times time the component of that velocity in the x direction is going to be equal to u now the initial velocity remember here they're telling us that it is a horizontal velocity so meaning that this in the x direction this u is the horizontal velocity here it is one meter per second right so it's going to be u it's going to be one since it's in the horizontal direction then plus acceleration times time now remember acceleration in the horizontal component is zero so meaning that if the acceleration to gravity here is zero it means that this whole terminology is zero so the velocity in the x direction is one since it's a horizontal you know velocity that is vx is one let's look at vy this is vx let's look at vy so finding the component of the velocity in the y direction is going to be equal to you know u plus a t steel what is u now the initial velocity here the ball in the y direction is zero why because this ball has been is having is having a horizontal velocity it is not inclined to theta or to any angle so in the y direction there is no component of that velocity in the y direction this is zero then that is plus now gravity of course here we're dealing in the y direction so there's gravity which is negative 9.81 times the time now the time taken for this thing to move to come and hit here that value of t is the time we found in roman 1 which is 0 0.4515 and of course this is going to be equal to vy which we are looking for now remember even this vy according to this diagram this velocity vy is pointing in downwards in the negative direction so this is actually negative vy so you'll find that negative vy is going to give us this this negative will cancel out with that negative will remain with vy the velocity in the y direction is going to be equal to so we found vx and vy like that 
So now that we have gotten the component of the velocity, the final velocity at that point in the x direction, and we have also been able to get the component of the final velocity in the y direction, let me redraw this just to show you how it turns out. So to redraw, to redraw that, this thing has been this. We have that, we have that, this is vx. In the x direction, we got one right there. So this is one, one meters per second. In the y direction, we got vy is equal to 4.4. 3, 1, and so we want to find the final velocity, which so happens to be this. We want this. The question wants us to find find the velocity with which the, the ball hits the floor. That's the final velocity we are looking for. So we can redraw this using a triangle, like the way we are resolving forces, the triangle of forces. So we have Vx like that. It's in that direction, like that. That is the Vx. Then we have the Vy. So we draw the Vy at the end of Vx. Vy like that. Then we have our... So from the Vy is right there. Okay. Which is 4.431. So it means that um, the resultant velocity is this. From be where it begins from to where it ends. In that direction. So we want this V. And also we're supposed to find the angle theta upon which this V is acting. Now it doesn't matter whether you start with Vx then Vy or you start with Vy both and end with Vx. It will still, the, 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 the direction of this will be the same. Let's try it here. In case I started drawing my triangle using Vy instead I'll come here and say Vy, like that, okay, that's my Vy, then at the end of my Vy, I draw my Vx, it's in that direction, yeah, Vx in that direction, and then still, if this is my Vx, again, you'll notice that the main thing that we're trying to look for, which is this, the final velocity, you'll find that they are still the same, they are parallel, the same direction. So it doesn't matter how you draw the triangle as long as you're accurate about it. So again, so so we shall get started with, uh, you know, after drawing our triangle of force of, of the vector, our vector triangle. So let's go ahead and find our value of V. We are going to use Pythagoras theorem. So we know to find our value of V. V is given by Vx squared plus vy squared what's our vx that is one squared plus our vy our vy is 4.431 squared that's going to give us our v and all this is under the square root so from here our value of v shall be equal to So now that we have found the velocity with which, uh, the final velocity with which, you know, the V, this is the final velocity with which this ball hits that ground. So we can go ahead and find that value of theta. You know, the answer is not complete until we find that value of theta. Velocity is a vector quantity. So we need to find both the magnitude and the direction. So let's find the direction. So for the direction, again, we are going to use trigonometry to find that value of theta here. So what we shall do right there, we shall go ahead and say, we shall use the tan. Tan of theta is going to be equal to the opposite, which is Vy. Divide that by the adjacent, which is Vx. What is Vy? We got our Vy as 4.431. Divide that by Vx, which is 1. So our theta here is tan inverse 4.431 and we shall end up with 77.29 degrees. So we conclude our answer by saying
So that's how we conclude our answer. And from there, we've been able to answer both questions, Roman 1 and Roman 2. This brings us to the end of this session. Thanks for watching. My name is Arnold Rangakramia. Remember to share this video with your friends. I'll catch you in the next session. Take care.